So if you guys haven't noticed already, today we are gonna be deep cleaning this Toyota Yaris on the inside that has a bit of a problem with some real life maggots. These aren't carpet beetles like in previous videos or roaches, these are actual maggots and it makes my skin crawl thinking about that. But we're gonna get this thing completely cleaned out on the inside and make it just look like new. You won't even know there's a problem, which is scary in certain aspects, but we're gonna make this thing look like new. Um, but if you guys are new, hit subscribe down below. Thumbs this video up if you like these sort of videos. Let's go ahead and get this thing cleaned out. So in the last several videos, we've done $100 Amazon gift card giveaways. Today, we're gonna to do that again. To anybody that can comment down below the nastiest thing you've either found or could imagine finding inside of a car that gets detailed, clean, whatever. Um, I'll randomly pick with my generator a random comment, but I want you guys to really light up the comments down below and leave some really good thoughts and ideas of probably the nastiest thing that you could find inside of a vehicle. So by pulling out that center console, the seats and everything, you get a good idea of all of these goodies that you find underneath them. It makes your life a lot easier to detail and just kind of maneuver inside the vehicle, especially when you have to film it. Um, that camera kind of gets in the way sometimes. But for this one, it does help out. And a lot of the details I do do, I pull out all of the seats and the carpet and the center consoles as much as possible. But for this one, I was really pleasantly surprised after vacuuming how little you know, staining there really was. So it made it really easy for me to choose just to extract the carpets once I pulled out those seats and all those panels that kind of get in the way to make sure we don't miss any spots. Yeah. 
Now, for all of you that are part of the Fox Clean uh, email list or have seen some of my recent Instagram or TikToks, I have my drying towels and my microfiber towels back in stock in the next 10 days or so. So I'm opening up pre-orders for you guys to order them before I sell out again. I mean, you guys buy these things like crazy, which is awesome, and I appreciate all of the support. So if you guys have been looking out for those and wanting to pick up a drying towel, microfiber towels, Head on over to Fox Clean. Do your pre-orders now as soon as possible before, like I said, they sell out. And I also have drill brushes on the way too, and I will have those listing here very, very soon for you guys too. So head on over there after this video to foxclean.com to make sure you get your pre-order in. So for these carpets, I used all-purpose cleaner to clean them because of some of the things that were inside of it, plus I wanted to try to kill anything that might be living inside them. Um, but for this one, it's just all-purpose cleaner diluted down, and the all-purpose cleaner I use doesn't get super foamy, even when you use the drill brush, um, and it extracts really well and doesn't stay foamy. Um, so that's why I chose just to use all-purpose cleaner, and it does an excellent job at getting rid of stains, especially if you're doing spot treatment on your own car using just an all-purpose cleaner, spraying it on your carpet and using a brush just to scrub it, like the detailing brushes, and then a clean microfiber towel, typically gets rid of the stains and you don't have to use extraction. But if you have a bigger job like this with a lot more stains, obviously extraction comes into play and is a much better choice in terms of tools.
Like I mentioned, I did not pull out the carpets because I didn't necessarily need to. And as you can tell, all of these stains came out really easily and I extracted them thoroughly enough to know that there wasn't any remaining stains underneath the surface that were gonna come out later on once the carpets dry. Now with the seats all vacuumed up, the next step obviously is to use my carpet cleaner and my extractor to get these things completely cleaned and I was really thrilled with how well these turned out and this rear bench is an easy way for you guys to see the difference between each side because I did half first and left the other side just agitated with the drill brush so that way you can get a good idea of how much dirt was in this carpet fiber itself.
Now, if you're ever extracting seats or you're doing jobs in general when it comes to extracting, one thing that you need to try to do is always start with the highest point first and then work your way down. This is something that I even sometimes miss up, mess up to this day is I start with the bottom seat cushion and then I go extract the top and a lot of that fluid water, the drill brush of the, of the other stuff gets flinged down on it after you cleaned it and it's just a, it's a mess. So one thing I always try to do is extract the top part first, then work my way down to the bottom and this goes with working inside the car as well. Clean the door panels and stuff last because if you clean the carpet, you're gonna fling crap everywhere and, and just juices from the carpet. And you don't wanna have to do double the work if you can just prioritize what you do first in your details. Now this driver's seat was definitely the money shot. It's a little bit more worn down because it's the driver's seat, but this one had the largest amount of stains in it and required the most amount of work. But you'll see some really good slow-mo shots here of the extractor and the amount of stuff coming out in the pour later on will blow your mind.
Now when it comes to cleaning door panels or these carpeted inserts on door panels, I always just take all-purpose cleaner, spray them, use my detailing brushes because it's a softer bristle that you don't have to worry about removing the actual cloth from it because they're just glued on. And then use a clean microfiber towel to kind of dry up the remaining fluid. And then using your vacuum as well as a good tool to extract any fluid that gets inside those speaker grills or in those nooks and crannies is a good tool to try. Now I didn't have Seth help me out with the whole detail, he wasn't able to, but he did come towards the end to help me out with a lot of those smaller interior panels that are kind of more cumbersome and just take a lot of time, but he's really good at helping me out with cleaning those up so that way we can get this car reassembled for you guys here to see these after shots of how well this car transformed.
Now, this is probably my first real true hoarder's car. I mean, I've had some nasty details in the past that you guys have seen, and if you haven't seen them, go check out some of my bigger videos because there's some really nasty ones. But this is the first true real hoarder's car I've ever done. Um, the flies and the maggots were a bit, you know, over the top and kind of make me squirm a little bit, whereas roaches and stuff don't, which is probably odd to a lot of you. But this one was probably one of the nastiest ones I've done, but I was really, really happy with how it came out. And if you guys like this video, smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new as always. And like I mentioned earlier, comment down below the nastiest thing that you guys would think would be found in a car. And also check out foxclean.com to pre-order all those detailing brushes, tools, towels, whatever you guys need to get your car clean. And I'll see you guys next week.